happy people i'm back with another video and today i am going to be swatching out some new um madam glam polishes for you all they were kind enough to send me some more products over for review so uh, let's take a look at all these beautiful colors they sent um i did ask them if they could send me some of their gel paints because i've just heard a lot of great things about them so i'm excited to swatch these out and play around with these as well um but yeah y'all let's, let's get into it Alrighty, so these are all the colors that they sent. First color we have here is Glam Elements. This is a really beautiful, it's like a, a neon pastel, peachy pink almost. This is really beautiful, just in time for spring, summer, mother nature. Ooh, I like the name of that. Wow, look at that. Very beautiful, bold green color. Love that. Daystar. Ooh, now this is a really cute orangey pink color. Again, perfect, perfect for the uh, springtime. We have this beautiful silver, and this is called Tinsel. I actually saw this color get swatched on RB Nail Creations, and I just had to have it. So, um, shout out to you, RB Nail Creations, for um, informing me that this color was on Madame Glam's website because it looks like it's going to be a beautiful color. Let's see what it looks like. Oh my gosh! Yeah, this is gorgeous. I absolutely love this color. One of the one of the things that drew me to this color. Um, was those really beautiful fine silver glitters i feel like this would be a really good color to put down as a base like if you're doing like a full bling set of nails and you know you got to put down kind of like a reflective polish or a polish that has a lot of fine uh glitters in it i felt like this would be a great color for that so um that's why i picked this up and then we have these gel paints here i'm going to go ahead and open these Okay, I'm going to go ahead and open all these off camera and I'll be right back. This is what the black gel paint looks like. Ooh, it's a nice, beautiful, rich black color. Oh my gosh, it's so deep. And I, the Madame Glam uh, Perfect Black is actually my favorite black of all time because it is just so black. It's like a really deep black. White gel paint. And this is what it looks like. This is a really nice, beautiful, pure white. Okay, very, very nice. I did notice too with these containers, they're not all the way filled up to the top, but from what I've seen and heard, a little bit goes a long way. So I think they're gonna last a long time. Silver gel paint. I was really most excited about the silver and the gold. Oh my gosh, look at this, you guys. So beautiful, finely, densely packed silver glitters. Like, oh my gosh, so gorgeous. Gold gel paint, oh, just so beautiful. It's just like the perfect gold color. Absolutely gorgeous. I love how finely packed they are. Very, very beautiful. I was super excited about this color as well. This is the rose gold gel paint. And you guys, look at this. Why is it so gorgeous? Okay, absolutely love it. When I took off the tops, this is what they all look like. Um, next, like side by side. Um, in case you all wanted to do like a comparison, but these are all very, very true to color. Uh, but yeah, let's get into some swatches, okay? Glam Element. Oof, very, very pretty. Yeah, this is a perfect springtime color. Very cute. Mother Nature. Ooh, baby, that green packs a nice punch. I love it. It's very cute. You'll definitely need two coats of this polish, but it's very, very beautiful. Very nice. Daystar. Yeah, this is a really beautiful light. Actually, this is more like a light orange. I thought it was peachy at first, but now that I'm swatching it, this is just a beautiful pastel orange color. How cute. Perfect for springtime. Lovely. Tinsel. Oh, wow. This is beautiful. Like I said, this right here would be really, really cute if you're doing some full bling nails. Oh, this puts me in the mind of Christmas as well. This is a really beautiful silver to have. It has ever so slightly fine hollow glitters in there as well. This is just a beautiful color. I love this. Very gorgeous. White gel paint. Oh wow, that's very, very opaque. Wow, a little bit definitely goes a long way. Very nice. And this is just a thin amount of polish that I'm using, you guys. 
Yeah, this is a really nice white. And it self levels pretty nicely. You give it a little moment there to self level. This is one coat coverage too, so I can see how this would be easy to do some nail art with. Very, very nice. Black gel paint. Wow. See y'all, I absolutely love Madame Glam Black. Again, y'all, one coat. Y'all see this? I haven't even dipped my brush back in there yet. Oh my gosh, very beautiful, very nice. Silver gel paint. Wow. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that gorgeous gold gel paint. Oh wow. It's just so beautiful for me. Like, I'm in love with these gel paints though. They demand attention, okay? Like, wow. Beautiful gold color. They're absolutely stunning. Yeah, I love it. Rose gold gel paint. Oh my gosh. How beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. This color is just mesmerizing. I love it. These are what all the colors are looking like swatched out. I'm going to go ahead and give you guys up closest to each one. Mother Nature, which is this really beautiful, bright, vibrant green color. Glam Element, which is this really beautiful, soft pink color. Tinsel, which is this really beautiful, gorgeous silver glitter that has really fine hollow glitters in it as well. This really does remind you of Christmas tinsel, so the name is very fitting. Day Star, which is this really beautiful, soft pastel orange. White Gel Paint, which is this really beautiful, perfect white color to work with and do nail art with. Black Black gel paint which is this really nice deep deep beautiful black and again with all of these gel paints this is just one coat of coverage you guys so um, these are very very op uh, these are very very pigmented colors silver gel paint which is absolutely gorgeous again these glitters are absolutely mesmerizing for Madame Glam gold gel paint just absolutely stunning I mean this is a really beautiful gold I love it rose gold which I was also super excited about just absolutely stunning color so again, these are all the gel paints from Adam Glam. They're absolutely beautiful, gorgeous, and this is only one coat of coverage, you all. So it's gonna be really nice and easy to do nail art with these. And these are the gel polishes that I swatched out. This is with two coats of coverage and a top coat. So I think I'm gonna go on with these two colors. I wanna do some quick Easter designs for you all. Easter's right around the corner. So I thought it'd be cool to do a little bit of stamping. I know I got some new folks here on the channel. I've done stamping videos in the past, but um, I wanna do another one just to show you guys how quick and easy it is. I am gonna go in with Glam Element and Daystar. I'm just gonna go in with two coats of coverage on a practice nail here. This is what the two colors look like with two coats of polish and a top coat. I do like to do stamping on a top coat. I just feel like it makes it easier that it, so that when you make mistakes, you can do easy cleanup. Here are my stamping tools here. I do keep them in this little three section organizer here. So I'm gonna take out my scraper. And this is my favorite jelly stamper to use. This is from Clear Jelly Stamper. And I just love this thing. So I'm gonna go in with this stamper here. It's really nice and you can see very clearly what you're doing. I have here some of my favorite stamping polishes. These are from Born Pretty. They're really nice pigmented polishes for stamping. And then I found a Easter stamping plate here which I thought was really fitting. I've been wanting to try this one for a while so I figured now would be the best time to pull it out. Okay, so let's go ahead and peel that plastic off. So satisfying. So cute okay and so I have here a little napkin and my plate and um, the last thing you'll need is a lint roller and that's just to clean off your stamper so I'm gonna start off with just kind of cleaning off my stamper to make sure any dust and debris is off of it and let's see what design that I want to go in with I'm gonna go in with this um, light orange nail 
And I think I kind of want to do this little bunny with his butt poking out right here. I just think that's a really cute image. So I'm going to try to pick that one up. I'm going to go in with my black stamping polish. And when it comes to stamping, you definitely want to work really fast. And so to pick this image up, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to saturate the image with some of the stamping polish like so. Okay. Then I'm going to take my scraper here and do one quick swipe down. Make sure it's at a 45 degree angle like so. Then I'm going to take my jelly stamper here. And what I like to do is I like to roll and pick the image up. So I'll roll, pick up the image like so. It's a clean pick. Look at that. Beautiful. And so then I'll take my nail here. You'll just put the image exactly where you want it to be. I kind of want it towards the tip of the nail like so. Right here. And then I'll just press down perfect transfer how cute is that oh my goodness and I think I kind of want to do some bunny ears up top I think that'd be cute kind of like it's little body so let's see if we can find some cute bunny ears oh that's cute okay I think I'm gonna do this little bunny ear face right here and put that right above the little butt that was stamped how cute is that y'all so I'm gonna take some more polish here and again you just want to saturate the image okay you want to go in with a quick swipe down like so. You'll take your jelly stamper, roll to pick up the image, roll and it picks up. As you all can see here, it's a clean pick. Okay. Um, if you get some excess um, imagery on there that you don't want, you just go in with your jelly stamper and remove it. And I think I want to put his image right here, right above the little butt. I think I'm going to try to make a whole little face here, y'all. I'm gonna put it right about here. <laughs> That's cute. Oh, I like that. Okay. And then what I want to put at the top. Oh, what I want to do next. I think that's all I can really fit on this nail. Oh my gosh. I wish the nail was a little bit longer. I would have tried to put some ears up top. So that's really cute in and of itself. That's really cute. So that's the first image I have here. Just cute, fun Easter stuff. And then from there, I think I want to do, I think I'm going to do some eggs and some grass on here, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and pick up the grass. I do have a green polish here that I think I'm going to try to use. So I'm going to just saturate the bottom here with that green polish, like so. And I'll do one quick swipe down, like so. And then I'll go ahead and take the jelly stamper and roll to pick the image up like so oh. didn't pick up the full image but I think enough is on there for me to get what I want and I'm just gonna put just a little bit of grass here at the bottom of the plate so like this that's good and then from there I want to add some eggs in there so I kind of want to use this little three three piece egg situation I kind of want them to be white. I'm going to do white, actually. So I'm going to saturate the eggs in white. One quick swipe down. And then I'm going to do a quick pick. Like so. Oh, that picked up beautifully. Look at that. I actually picked up two images. Okay. And then you'll want to go ahead and just place the egg. Oh, actually, I think I'll probably try to put both images on here. I'm going to do this one here. Like so. And then I'll place the eggs right in the grass, like so. Oh, it didn't transfer all the way. Sad face. Yeah, I'm about to try that again. Whenever you mess up with an image with uh, stamping, because you put down a top coat, all you need to do is go in with acetone on a brush and just wipe it away, like so. And that'll just get rid of the image that you don't want on the nail. Okay. Go in with a little lint free wipe and get all of that off of the nail. And now you have another clean surface to work off of. And then to clean the palette, all you'll need, I have one of these little grabber thingies here that I like to use. And I just grab a little cotton swab like so, saturate it with a little bit of acetone, and then clean off my plate really quick. Okay. 
and it give you a nice reset to be able to do your nail image. Okay. And I think actually I want to go ahead and put Happy Easter at the top of the nail. So let me go ahead and just do that. I'm going to capture the Happy Easter. So I'm going to go in right here and just saturate the image with black. I'm going to do a real quick swipe to the left, I mean to the right, like so. i do one more there. And then I'll go and roll and pick the image up like so. I actually picked up two images here. So I might just try to use both of them. You see? Clean pick. So I think what I'll try to do is put Happy Easter at the top right here. Like so. Beautiful. And I'll put a little Easter egg just right here, okay? Beautiful! Look at that, y'all. How cute is that? Okay. So that's my image. That's my little Easter design. I think that's super cute. Um, I kind of really wanted some bunny ears on this, but I ran out of space, y'all. I ran out of space. But yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed the tutorial for stamping. Again, if you want to clean your palette off, all you need to do is go in with some acetone on just one of these cotton swabs and just clean it off. And then you're all good to go for your next design. Once you're all done with your design, uh, to seal it in, you would just go in with another layer of top coat. So I'm gonna just do that really quick. This is what the nails are looking like with top coat. How cute are these, you guys? So this is a really cool, easy way to do some Easter designs without having to do any intricate nail art. So which nail is your favorite? I really like them both. This one's kinda, I'm drawn to this one for some reason. I like the Happy Easter on this one, but I really like the cute little design of the bunny on here. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Have you guys tried stamping? And um, what products do you use for your stamping? So yeah, you guys, another special thanks to Madam Glam for sending these over for review. I do really enjoy their polishes a lot. They are vegan, HEMA-free, cruelty-free, um, 21-free, palm oil free It's a really clean brand. Um, polishes are super easy to work with, super easy to do nail art with. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Um, I do have a discount code with Madam Glam as well. I'm going to leave it here on the screen as well as in the description box below in case you guys are interested in getting your hands on them and saving a little coin in the process okay so yeah let me know what designs you guys are doing for this Easter um yeah this is what I came up with just some quick simple and easy for those who don't feel like doing a lot of hand drawn nail art I do upload every Tuesday Thursday and Saturday if you all like what you saw here definitely stick around join the happy family I'd love to have you and as always you guys leave some love in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video I hope you all have a wonderful awesome spectacular day bye